In the world of real estate marketing, getting people to know, like, and trust you is where the magic happens. The way that we do that through Facebook advertising is using a feature called Facebook Custom Audiences. Today, the video is going to be a complete tutorial on how to utilize custom audiences so that people get to know, like, and trust you. Take a look. Hey everyone, Kevin Small with 2Q Lead Generation Strategies. If you are new to our channel, welcome. We are so glad you're here. What we're all about is helping real estate agents just like you generate more leads, set more appointments, and close more deals. So if that's what you're after, more leads, appointments, and deals, this is absolutely the place to be. Please consider subscribing. We'd love to have you here as part of our, uh, part of our channel. Before I get going in today's video, just one quick note. Down in the description below, you will find a link to our free two-hour masterclass for Facebook. It is two hours of training, chock full of all of our best practices, what we're doing to help our clients generate leads, turn those into appointments, and close more deals. So make sure you go check that out. Two hours of your time well spent. Now, in today's video, we're going to be talking about custom audiences, the, uh, a complete tutorial rundown of how they work and why you would want to use them. Custom audiences are one of the more advanced features with Facebook. We, uh, we use them all the time with our clients, and it's the way that we create a lot of that repetition to where once people see one of our ads, the ads start following them, and people uh, just see those ads over and over and over again so that we're building that element of people getting to know you, like you, and trust you. That is where the conversion magic happens in the real estate industry. So it's, uh, it's not any one ad, it's the sum total of all of them that really matter. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and uh, share my screen here. So custom audiences to navigate to here, just go to your business manager account, uh, open up the menu, you'll notice there's this section called audiences. When you click on that, it'll take you to um, this section here. Now, the beauty of, of custom audiences is that we can set up audiences to track all kinds of things that are happening with the marketing that you're doing in Facebook. So some of the audiences will update automatically, other ones we will have to manually update as we go along. I'll kind of point those, those out as we go. So you'll notice if I click on create audience, there's a section called custom audience. Now I can create custom audiences based on all of these different actions, these different sources. So some of the ones that are going to be very um, relevant for the kind of marketing that you're doing. So one of the first ones would be your Facebook page. So the Facebook page is based on engagement. So Facebook is defining engagement as clicks, likes, comments, shares, or even sending a message to to the page. So anyone who's done any of those things, any of that type of engagement, we can set up a custom audience for that. So it's really just as simple as selecting the page. Obviously, I've got lots of them just because different uh, different accounts I manage for my clients. But you can set it up to where um, it's specific types of engagement, whether they engaged with <clears throat> a post or an ad or anyone who engaged with the page, anyone who visited the page. There, there's all kinds of different metrics here that you can see. The default will be this, anybody who's engaged with the page. Um, for a lot of the ads that we run, this is the default that I use. And uh, you can set it up for 365 days. That's the maximum time period. So Facebook lets you um, track and keep all those people inside this list um, or this audience, I should say, because it's not really a list per se, but um, inside this audience that allows us to keep going back to them. The thought process is if people are liking, commenting, sharing, watching your content, you know, if they're doing those kinds of things, those tend to be the people who are more interested than someone else. And so we want to make sure that we continue to stay in front of those people because they're very valuable contacts. So Facebook asks you to give the audience a name. If I were doing this for real, what I would call it is I would call it something like uh, page engagement 365 days because that kind of a name tells me exactly what this group of people who they are. So that would be my recommendation for that. Now you can also set up, <clears throat> excuse me, you can also set up a very similar um, audience for Instagram. 
So again, tracking engagement, but on your Instagram uh, profile. So again, you have to have a business profile. That's part of this. You'll notice it's loading business profiles as I'm doing this, but it's anybody who engaged with the professional account. Again, it's just a matter of going and you know finding whatever one, I'll just use my own. And again, the maximum time period for this is 365 days. So the nice thing about most of the custom audiences is Facebook will allow you to track them for 365 days. There are a couple exceptions to that. I will point it out as we go along. Um, and then I would call this something very similar. Instagram engagement, 365 days. Again, that tells me exactly who this group of people, who they are. And then you would just create the, uh, hit the button to create the audience. Since I'm not doing this for real, I'm not worried about that. Uh, some of the other audiences that'll be very relevant for the marketing that you're doing, video. Um, if you have watched any of my, uh, any of the videos here on my channel, you know that I am a huge, huge fan of video, using that to market your business. And you can track people who are market, or who are watching your videos. So with this, um, it allows you to create the metric that you want. Now, my recommendation, what I normally set for the majority of my clients, unless there's a reason to do something different, is I will use this one right here. People who have watched at least 25% of your video. The reason why I use that particular metric is it's just thinking through the way that people consume content on Facebook. Um, the vast majority of people are consuming content on their cell phone. And uh, as you've probably experienced on your mobile device with Facebook, when you're scrolling through and you come across a video, the video will just start auto-playing. And so I don't like this one where it says people who have viewed at least three seconds, because if I select that metric, it may take somebody three seconds as they're scrolling, you know, scrolling through their feed just to figure out what the content is. And then they'll be like, oh, I'm not interested in real estate. And so they move on. Right. I, I don't want those people in an audience because those aren't the people that are interested in what I'm doing. I like the 25 percent metric because it kicks out the people who are just scrolling. Right. If they stop on your video and they consume at least 25 percent of that video, Again, that wasn't just an accident. Those are the people that are more interested than others in what you're doing. Will it take you longer to build up an audience if you're only capturing 25%? Yes, however, the audience will be a higher quality. And so that is the one that I, I do recommend. Now, um, you'll notice when I select that, there's an option here that says choose videos. Now this audience is not, man, is not automatically updated like page engagement. So if somebody clicks on your page or does anything after you've created that custom audience, it just automatically pulls people into that list for every new post or every new ad that you do after that point. Okay, with videos it is different. Every time you release a new video, if you want it included, you just have to come in and edit this and select the video, right? So you can pick one video, you can pick all of them, um, but once you have selected the ones that you want, you're just gonna select that. Again, the time period that Facebook lets you track this is 365 days. And again, my naming convention, I would do the same thing. Video uh, views 25%, 365 days. So that title right there, tells me that the people here watch 25% of any of, of my videos over the last 365 days. So th again, this is one of the ones you will need to update anytime you put out a new video um, on your page. Okay, so just make sure you're aware of that. Uh, another one that you'll want to be uh, familiar with, again, if you've been watching uh, my channel and how to do lead generation ads is people that are filling out lead forms. So once people see the lead generation ad, they submit their information, um, or even if they've just clicked on the ad itself, those people are getting pulled into this audience and we are using that to, um, to populate this, this group. So you'll notice right here, it says events, anybody who opened the lead form, that's the default and I do recommend that because you can make it so that um, it's only targeting people uh, again, if somebody was interested enough to click on the ad, but they didn't even fill out the form, that's still someone that I want to be in front of because I know they're interested just by the fact that they clicked on it. They just didn't want to give me their contact information. 
So I normally leave it that way unless you wanted to do something else. The one exception is let's say you had a lead generation ad, people didn't fill out the form, but you wanted to target them and say, hey, I know you're interested here, you know, in homes here, here's another home to go look at, or, you know, some kind of marketing like that, then you would use um, this option, people who opened but didn't submit the form, right? That way you could target just those, that group of people. But again, it, just for building an audience, the one I normally use is this one. Anyone who opened this form, you're gonna select your page, right? And then you can spit, you can pick specific forms or you can just click all of them. Again, unless there's a compelling reason to do something different, my recommendation is use all of them. Um, now, this is another audience that you will have to update every time you're creating a new form. So if you are putting in a new lead generation ad and you're using a new form, then you need to come into this audience and add the new form here, otherwise it won't be tracking those people. So the two audiences you need to update manually are video views anytime you post a new video and lead forms anytime you put up a new lead form. So make sure you're updating those two. Now, the, this is one of the ones where the default time period is different. Facebook lets us keep those people in a custom audience for 90 days, that's the maximum. So that's what I would call this is lead form opens. So people who had opened a lead form and then nine, oops, 90 days. That tells me who this group of people are and that's the easiest way that I have found to, uh, to name each of these audiences so that I know who they are. Okay, uh, the other one that's gonna be real important for you is your website. Now, Facebook did release, um, there has been some updates where people have to opt in and, and give Facebook permission to track them. Um, so it's a little bit different than it has been in the past, but nonetheless, you still want to track people that are going to your website because if people are going to your websites to search for properties or request a market analysis or to find out more about you, those are people we want to keep in front of. Um, so. In order to do this, you do need to have your Facebook pixel installed on your website. If you don't know how to do that, I will leave a link right here um, where you can go and watch a video on how to do that. Um, but you do need to have the pixel installed on your website. Then once it is, you're just going to create an audience based on that. Um, I don't have a pixel installed on this particular account, which is why this is pulling up. Um, but basically, once you click on that audience, um, once you click on that uh, website uh, option, it's just gonna ask you which pixel. Facebook will let you track it for 180 days. This is another one of them where the time period is different. But you can track any visitors to your website over the last 180 days. And that's what I call that audience. I'll call it website traffic, 180 days, okay? So those are the, um, those are the custom audiences that I set up for most of my clients. Uh, just because the other ones that you see here, sorry, well, there's one more, and that is a customer list. I do use this a lot. So when we're marketing to your, um, your sphere of influence, your past clients, um, people that you want to stay in contact with, what we do is we actually upload that list directly to your ad account through the audiences section, and it allows us to keep in front of those people, uh, again, your warmest audience. So big big fan of customer list highly recommend it it's a great way to stay in touch with those again your warmest audience the people that know like and trust you the most already um, so if you don't know how to prepare a customer list and upload that again i will put a link right here you can go click on that and watch a tutorial on how to do it but uh, having that list in there allows us to again keep in front of those people so that is the other one that um, I highly recommend use. These other ones like app activity, offline activity, um, instant experience, shopping, you might use events, but that's a pretty um, situational one. On Facebook listings, uh, again, most of these, you know, most of those other ones you're never gonna use, and so it's not really worth talking about. The other thing that you will use from time to time is this special ad audience. Now, a special ad audience is basically a look-alike audience, if you're familiar with that, with that term. But since we're in the real estate industry and the ads that we're running are special ad category, meaning that it's related to housing, 
um, we have to use a special ad audience. So what this is, is it's like I said, it's a lookalike audience. And what that means is we basically pick an audience of people and say, Facebook, go find more people that are similar to this. So the way that it would work is you pick the underlying source. So let's say um, you had um, you were doing lead generation ads and you wanted to pick people that had opened up a lead, you know, your lead forms, right? So you could um, So you could go find your lead form. Um, I don't have one created on this account, which is why it's not pulling up. Um, but basically, I'll just use a different one. Uh, so let's say you wanted to pick your page engagement. So that would be the page engagement audience. And you're basically saying in, in it has to be done by country. So you would come down to United States. Um, and then basically what you're doing is you're saying, I want people who are similar to the ones engaging with my page in the United States that are within one degree of difference, right? In other words, they're pretty much the same. Now, the more you increase that difference, the larger this audience becomes. Um, but you'll see right here, um, people within 1% in the US different than the ones engaging with my page, it's estimated to be 2.7%. Uh, five or 2.75 million people. Um, so with that, you would just create the audience. It would create that special ad audience, and then you could use that for your targeting. So again, the whole purpose of all these different custom audiences is it gives us a way to be able to target people based on actions that they're taking. So when we use the Facebook ad targeting system, you're targeting people based on interests or demographics or locations or those kinds of things. With this kind of targeting, you're targeting people based on actions. So again, if they've watched a video, that's a better prospect than most, we wanna keep in front of them. If they've been to your website, we wanna keep in front of them. If they have engaged with uh, videos or, or your page, again, we wanna keep in front of those people. And so that's what we use these custom audiences for, is basically to create that tracking, right? This is one of the, the best tutorials you could ever go through just because once you have these audiences built, it gives us that framework to be able to just repetitively keep in front of people. And that's where the magic of conversion happens. Taking leads and turning it into business, typically, especially in real estate, it doesn't happen on the first contact, right? It normally takes multiple contacts and that's where this is going to come in. And for some people it could take months, right? But if we have the proper systems in place and we keep running ads, we keep putting valuable content in front of people. It's just a matter of time. And that's really what this boils down to. So hopefully that was helpful. This was the tutorial for custom audiences on Facebook. I hope you found that helpful. If so, do me a favor, take a split second, click that thumbs up button down below. Uh, liking this video helps us tremendously. We appreciate your support. Also, if you uh, haven't subscribed to our channel, please consider subscribing. Uh, we put up valuable content like this all the time, every single week and uh, you can use that to grow your business. So click on the subscribe button down below. There'll be a little bell notification. If you click on that, you'll receive notifications every time we put out brand new content. And like I said, we do this every single week. Um, I will also put up a couple of videos right here that you can click on to learn more tips and more strategies to help you grow your business. And also, if you're curious about the services that we provide where we do marketing for you, uh, be happy to talk to you about that. Down in the description below, you'll find a link with information. You can go check that out. So that is it. Make it a great week. Keep crushing it in your real estate business. As always, if we can help, let us know. Otherwise, we will see you on the next video. Take care.